Sam's been keeping secrets. She has a very good reason. But I need you to tell me what you mean. And don't you say another word. You're trying to stop her from telling me the truth. We're trying to protect you. I'm going to get my own answers. Something going on? I want to be hypnotized. What clues to the past will be revealed? Don't miss this week's Port Charles Marathon. Coming up next, right here on SoapNet. Joe Scanlon is now being played by Alex Mendoza. Professor, how about another shot? Please. Joe! Well, what are you doing here? What? Can a guy visit his mom? Of course you can. But I thought the HIV test. Uh, nothing yet, Mom. But you will find out today. Yeah, yeah, a couple hours. Meanwhile, how about a great big stack of my famous pancakes? <laughs> oh, no, thanks. I'm, I'm not really that, uh... All right, all right, all right. Make them blueberry and you got it. Okay. Right. Hey, what's up? Hey. Still trying to figure out a way to help this patient of mine. Yeah, it's hard, isn't it? Not having all the answers always. Today's the day, right? Yeah, this is it. How you holding up? Oh, you know, somewhere between hope and full-blown panic. You must have nerves of steel. How many does this make for you? I'm not sure. Lost, uh, lost count sometime after midnight. I remember pulling a few all-nighters myself once in Shanghai. I was on surveillance for 32 hours straight. You know how I stayed awake? Nothing as ordinary as coffee, I'm guessing. <laughs> Chinese herbs. A unique blend to regulate the body's energy flow and achieve a perfect state of qi. Of course. Ginkgo biloba, Siberian ginseng, Boku Kula. Remarkable combination. Victor, you are a genius. Grace. 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 Kevin, hey, wake up, sweetheart. God damn you! Okay, you've apologized ten times already. And I still feel bad. Hey, I wasn't scared. <sighs> okay, I was a little scared. I have never seen that look on your face before. <laughs> Why were you sleeping down on the couch anyway? Because I was restless last night. I didn't want to wake you up. Been Thought I'd come down here and get a little bit of work done. Instead, I just conked out. Been restless a lot lately. Just stuff. On my mind? Libby. Libby, yeah. She's going through a tough time these days. Yeah, well, sh and she's not the only one. I mean, Kevin, you're treating Rachel's daughter. That is a little surreal, yeah. That's not the worst of it. Dealing with these nightmares she's having and seeing the effect it's having on you. It... Hey, wait a second. I'm tougher than she is. <laughs> Kevin, look, I know how protective you are of your patients and how loyal you are. And I know what you're about to say. What? I can't help it. That girl has been nothing but trouble for you. Oh, Eve, come on. It's the truth. She almost had you fired from your job, and now you're having these nightmares? One nightmare. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I've seen the effect it's having on you. Saved by the bell. No, 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 no. I'm going to get it. We are not finished here. Yeah. Eve, it's Ian. I think I found something. What with, what do you mean? Mr. Green. Uh, alternative medicine. Uh, an enzyme that I've been reading up on called Trienzyme 12. Yeah, I've heard about that. It's supposed to be really an amazing immune booster. Yeah. I thought I'd uh, try infusing a system with the stuff intravenously. Stall the degeneration. Possibly. Especially if you follow up homeopathically with uh, ginseng and animu and capsicum fruit. Ian? Yeah? This isn't really a good time. 
Oh, uh, of course you're off duty. Well, but I'll be on duty later this afternoon, so maybe we can pick up where we left off. Sure, absolutely. I'm waiting for some tests to come back anyway, so by the time you come in, I'll uh, know for sure if this is going to work or not. Okay, good. I'll see you later then. So long. Thanks for breakfast, Ma. That was great. You're welcome, sweetheart. Now, you will call me when you find out. I'll do better than that. I'll come straight over, all right? Thanks. Hey, you heading home? Heading back to GH. I'll uh, walk over there with you. Good. Sweetheart, give me a hug. Okay. Hey, wait a minute. What are you doing out of school? It's a pupil-free day. How come they never had those when I was a kid? Uh, hey, he was hoping you might make him some of your world-famous pancakes. Well, they're sort of my special of the day. You want to come and help me? Deal. Great. Now, listen, what are you going to do all day? Pancakes? Yeah. You just missed your brother. Yeah, I saw him at the house. He's, uh, he's doing okay, considering. Does Neil know anything about all this? No, Joe wanted to wait. I suppose that's for the best. I mean, why scare him if the tests come back negative? Yeah, well, let's just hope Courtney doesn't blow it in the meantime. <laughs> There's anybody who can do that. It's Courtney? Why didn't I park in the back? We need to talk. What do you want? I want my son. Hey. I've got a great idea. Yeah. I think we need a vacation. You mean now? Why not? Doesn't that sound like heaven? Just the two of us relaxing somewhere? I'd love to. Good. In a couple of weeks, when everything settles down. Well, why wait? I mean, I'm willing to set aside everything, even if it's just for a couple days. Sweetheart, I just can't get away right now. By the time you can get away, you'll be burnt out. Eve. You're making too much of this. Am I? Yes. Are you expecting someone? No. Look who's here. Libby. I'm interrupting something, are and I? Actually, I, I think you... Aren't interrupting. Are you sure? It's okay. This time. Well, I have to be on duty in a couple hours, so I should get going now. No, you don't have to. It, yeah, really. Just... It's okay. I do have to. See you later. Bye, Libby. Bye. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to chase her out of here. You again. didn't. Come on, have a seat. I had to come and see you right away. Something going on? Yeah. I talked to my mother and grandmother about my Aunt Grace, and neither would tell me anything. Okay, we figured that would happen, but as I said... I know, can... I know. I have to find my own way. That's why I'm here. I don't follow. I want to be hypnotized. All right, step one. Sit down. <sighs> Lean back. Relax. Close your eyes. I'm going to take you back to the time when your Aunt Grace died. When you were three years old. Protein disorder? Yeah, that's what the tests say. His body's overproducing an abnormal ionic protein. I've never seen anything like it. Could that be what's causing his mental condition? Sure. So, what are you going to do with the enzymes? Well, we're going to infuse a system with a cocktail of tri-enzyme 12 and some Chinese herbs that I've been studying. And hopefully that'll stimulate his immune system. And fight off whatever is causing the degeneration of his central nervous system. Right, right. Well, it's not a cure, but maybe it'll give us enough time to get to the bottom of this. Okay, so when are we going to do it? We? Oui, are you going to help? Yes. It's fantastic. Mm. Some people might frown at it. It's not exactly conventional. What people? You know, the patients is the most important. What the hell is this? That people. Did you order these things? What enzymes are uh, Wang Shang Wei? Wei Shang Wan. And let me have a look. Oh, yeah, that is my name on the requisition. Y y you want to tell me why? It's from a patient, Bob Green. We're trying to slow the pace of his illness by using some alternative meds. 
Thinking that if I flush the system with the course. Well, I'll tell you what you can flush. You can flush all this down the toilet because it's not going to happen. Dr. Boardman. You, don't, you haven't even heard what we're I don't do need to hear you. anymore. Green is going to be a turnip no matter what we do. But what we don't do at this hospital is practice voodoo. Voodoo? The Chinese have flourished for over 3,000 well, years. Perhaps you can request being posted to China on your next trip to the boonies. But as long as you're here, I'm not going to authorize spending another dime on this job. Do you have any idea how many licensed I dogs said send this back now. Uh, now what are we going to do? We're going to do it anyway. Was there ever any doubt? It's good you're spending more time with Neil. He needs balance in his life. You can say that again. Can't stir me down, you know. Although, I, I must admit, you're doing a much better job than you usually do. Actually, I, I think this is probably the longest stare-out we've ever had. Oh, but you're slipping. You're slipping, I can see it. <laughs> Pretty soon, you're gonna, you're gonna crack a smile like you always do, huh? Okay, Neil. Enough of these games, I'm ready to go home. Bye. No, no, we are going home. Ma, I told you, Frank and I have plans for the whole day. Okay, fine. Then he can drop you off when you're done, okay? Ooh, can't. You see, Saran and I are going rollerboarding in the morning, and then Joe's going to help me with my science project. You don't need Joe for that. I can help you. <sighs> yeah, yeah, right. Neil, I, I really think you need to get in the car with me. Ma, I'm not going home with you, okay? I'm not. Always hanging around Joe. You know how I feel about that. I'm not going to have this conversation again, so get over it. Get over it? Yeah, yeah, and be glad our son's at least talking to you. I, I don't want him to just talk to me. I want him home with me, where he belongs. Then back off and give him some room. Eventually, he'll get past being mad. When? I don't know when, but I do know if you don't back off, it'll never happen. Fun you win. For now. Uh, Neil, sweetie, I'm I'm leaving, but I'll call you later, okay? Denise. Gabriella around? Yeah, she got called to the yard, but she'll be back. <sighs> okay. Oh, hey, the lab just sent up some test results you wanted. Thanks. No problem. Dr. Parker's to trauma one. Dr. Rocky Parker's to trauma one. <sighs> Denise. I'm gonna take a quick break. If Gabriella comes looking for me, just... I'll tell her. All right. <laughs> Dr. Tyson to physical therapy. Dr. Chris Tyson to physical therapy. Psst. All clear? Check. Boardman? Surgery, appendectomy. Good. Green? Prepped and ready. Let's do it. Okay. Hey, have either of you guys seen Joe? I uh, just took off down the stairs. Wait, when? Just a minute ago. Okay, thanks. Young love. Yeah, no time for that. We got work to do. Hey, you're pretty good at this spy stuff. You ever think of joining the CIA? <sighs> Too many rules. Let's go. I want you to take me on this journey with you. Tell me what it's like to be three years old again. Now tell me anything you remember. Mmm. I can smell it. What can you smell? Perfume. 
The one that smells like flowers, it's mommy's perfume. There she is, I can see her. She's holding me in her lap. <laughs> Something funny? Yeah, her hair is long and it tickles my cheek when she kisses it. We're both so happy she's home again. Livy Sherry, Livy Sherry, Dormevu, Dormevu, Sunny the Patina, Sunny the Patina, Ding Ding Dong, Ding Ding Dong. What else can you remember? The warm wind blowing. Mommy's rocking me in her arms. I'm playing with the pretty ring on her finger. Ring. Mommy says it's the color of the sky at night. And when the light hits it just right, it pulls in all the twinkling stars. Um, uh, Livy, we're, we're going to stop now. When I count to three, you'll be completely awake and completely calm. One, two, three. Denise, have you seen my brother around? Yeah, he just took a break. Did he say when he would be back? Uh, soon. Any message? Uh, no, just tell him that Neil and I stopped by to say hi, all right? Okay. All right, thank you. Hey, buddy, we just missed him. So did you find what you were looking for? You ready to go to the arcade? Neil, is something wrong? I got it because Eric Karros is on the cover. What's the matter? Are you upset because he didn't mention you? I think we've done enough for one day. I don't want to push it. God, it was so incredible going back to a place like that. I could have stayed there forever. I'm glad. I'm glad it worked for you. We'll get together again in a couple of days. Well, I can't wait. <laughs> Thanks again. You're welcome. Bye. On the next Port Charles. GH resident, HIV positive, patients at risk. I figured you'd be coming. Well, now that you know why I'm here, I think we should get down to business. Okay, hands up and don't turn around.
From exclusive interviews to personal behind the scenes moments, keep up with your favorite soap stars with Soap Center. Coming up next on SoapNet, devoted to soaps and you.